This is He Knows Everything, bringing you that heat and fire. We keeping a foot on the what? On the Knicks. We keeping a foot on the what? On the Knicks. Go ahead, He like Knows. International boxing fanatics and panic attack. He's having a fanatic and a panic attack. Unless he forgets, let's have to remind his rapid ass. Canelo Alvarez, his fighter, lost to Floyd Money Mayweather. There wasn't no pay to lose. There wasn't no news dive. It was a boxing clinic, a PhD variation. Canelo Alvarez lost to Dimitri Bivol. Another European style boxing clinic. It was no boxing gifting decision. It was a cherry gone wrong. Let me say it again. It was a cherry gone wrong. Now, Earl the True Spence loses. We know this is a scripted fight. We know this is WWE. If you guys ever watch wrestling, in wrestling, they create contracts. They create scripts. They create fairy tales. They basically tell you what's going to happen before it happens. This is Wilder and Fury all over again, but in a different variation. Let me say it again. It's Wilder and Fury all over again, but a different variation. How did they know there was going to be a trilogy fight when the first fight wasn't even settled? It's the same thing with Spence and Crawford. You guys have to understand, boxing is a dying sport. Boxing is on dire straits. The only fight that gave resuscitation to boxing in recent times was Wilder versus Fury. But that died off. That fizzled off. And boxing definitely needed a super resuscitation. Let me say it again. Boxing needed a super resuscitation. Spence versus Crawford gave boxing that. Not only did it give it the super resuscitation, it gave boxing basically what we would say a revitalization. This is why the sport right now is at its heights. Look at the hoopla. Look at the media affair. Look at the mass hysteria. Look at how many people showed up to Las Vegas. This is the highest gate we've seen since Mayweather and Pacquiao. From food, hotels, lo lounges, lodges, money spent at the gate. People that was in the arena, this thing was packed 20 plus thousand. Imagine a rematch. That's why they did a bilateral rematch. See, the powers that be understood what was going on. Imagine a trilogy. I want you guys to really think about these things. Because people cannot see outside of the matrix. They cannot see outside of the illusion that's in front of them. If Earl the True Spence had brain damage, how come he was able to stand there, hug Terrence Buck Crawford coherently, talk coherently, answer questions coherently? This is, wasn't when Earl the True Spence beat up Mikey Garcia and then Mikey Garcia was reduced to an Uber, a Lyft, and a hold up. Hey, taxi, taxi, Tijuana cab driver fighter. It wasn't none of that. It wasn't a human pinata getting the shit beaten out of him. Earl the True Spence had all his faculties together. He was able to talk to Terrence Buck Crawford. He was able to hug him. He was able to be aware. So what that tells you is Terrence Buck Crawford won a non-credible fight. So when you see international boxing fanatic and panic attack, get on his soapbox. Mention he knows everything. Mention what he knows everything has to say. It's because... This is what we call delusional boxing artists. Their job is to create delusions of grandeur in your mind. Their jobs is to neuro linguistic program your mind. Their jobs, <laughs> and it's not to insult you guys, but in actuality it is. Let me say it again, it's not to insult you guys, but in actuality it is. It's to turn you guys into brain full of mush and brainwashed dodo heads. <laughs> At your truest and your most properest levels. We can't help it that most boxing fans are dodo heads. We can't help it that most boxing fans can't think for themselves. We can't help it that most boxing fans, they lack the corpus callosum. 
they lack the cerebellum. They lack the medulla. <laughs> they lack brain cells. They lack the fact that they didn't get this in early onset of childhood behavior. It's not my fault. That is your fault. That is your Rudy Poo and Plum Plum brain fault. That is your classic Don't Intro Road that fault. That is your ultra fanboy and ultra fangirl with the ultra fanboy and the ultra fangirl rhetoric faults. Not mine. It's your fault. You're looking at the matrix. You're looking at an illusion. And when you got guys like Sean Porter, which I will talk about in another video, two days after the fight, tells you all of a sudden, this was a guy who was picking Terrence Crawford. It's a things that make you say, hmm. It's a things that make you say, hmm. But then he comes back. Go ahead, later he and knows. Says, oh, Spence is going to win the rematch. Who does that sound like? That sounds like he knows everything. That's bringing you that what? That heat and that fire. And keeping the foot on the what? On the Knicks. And keeping the foot on the what? On the Knicks. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like that's the only motherfucker that gets it. It sounds like that's the only motherfucker that's thinking. As a matter of fact, we got a few people in the comment section. They're actually thinking. We're going to give it to the real G's. Salute to y'all. We're going to give it to the super real G's. Salute to y'all. We're going to give it to the ultimate real G's out here in these boxing streets. Salute to y'all because y'all getting it. Rudy True Spence had no punching resistance. Rudy True Spence didn't show no tactical aggression. Rudy True Spence didn't show no technical punching placement. Rudy True Spence didn't show no body snatching work. There wasn't no levying onslaught of the punishment style. There wasn't no conglomeration of punishment. There wasn't no stimulus package of punishment. This is how you know the fight would have been credible. And I'm going to break it down. If Rudy True Spence was punishing Terrence Crawford, which would be realistic, and then he got caught. Remember, Terrence Crawford was supposed to be a puncher's chance. He's a counter puncher. So if Earl True Spence was punishing him and then Terrence Crawford caught him because he overreached, that would have been a credible outcome. But how come there was no punishment? See, this was to build the, basically we would say, this small puppy, right? And bring him to big dog status. Terrence Crawford was bigger. Terrence Crawford was on snacks. Terrence Crawford had loaded and padded gloves. This guy not only was on PEDs, this man was loaded as fuck. This is the only way you're going to drop Earl to Chief Spence. You got to be on some shit. And then you got to have some shit. Let me say it again. You got to be on some shit. And you got to have some shit. The shit that he was on was called performance enhancement drugs. I.E. Victor Conte of snack. And the shit that he had inside of his gloves were padded and loaded gloves. They didn't take his gloves off. They didn't wait until the end of the fight. Until he was in the back with Clarissa Shields to say... One time, two times, two times, one time. <laughs> Still sound like a Negro that's missing a few fucking screws. One time, two times, two times. <laughs> Where did he get his education from third grade? Listen, man, I don't care what anybody tell me. When you're looking at the reality of this, Terrence Buck Crawford is a non-credible winner. And Bud Man fans are mad. Because Terrence Buck Crawford won a non-credible fight. He won a fight that was a scripted fight. He won a WWE fairy tale affair. So when you have international boxing fanatic and panic attack come after he knows everything for Earl True Spence when he needs to look at his own dirty closet of Canelo Alvarez, then you have to ask yourself, really in actuality, what is the cold-hearted? What is the unadulterated? What is the cutthroat truth teller fashion? It's as simple as this. The reason why this whole trilogy has happened the way it's happened, it proved that there's one thing that's taking place. That Spence is actually the face of boxing. Because look at the media. Look at the negativity. Look at the polarization. Look at the degradation of Erda True Spence and then the elevation of Terrence Buck Crawford. That means Spence's superstar, Big Fish, Rock star ability was able to catapult Terrence Buck Crawford from a guy who couldn't sell a chicken dinner, let alone a cookout, to now he's a household name. That's the cold hearted. That's the unadulterated. That's the cutthroat truth teller fashion. P.S. The next time international boxing fanatics and panic attack wants to mention he knows everything's name, stop the presses and pump the brakes on the nonsense and go sit down somewhere and what? 
Higgity fucking hush. I keeps the foot on the whoop on the Knicks. I keeps the foot on the whoop on the Knicks. This is He Knows Everything. Check it out.